Hello. Today I'll be going over using wildcards to generalize your rules in SnakeMake. Uh, so if you go to the if you go to the official SnakeMake documentation, you go to SnakeMake tutorials, and then step two in the basic and uh, basics. Go to step two. You can find more information about how you can use wildcards to generalize your rules. So, so let's uh, make a rule using wildcards. So let's make an example rule. So output takes in no input, just creates an output. Uh, for now, let's do output text, and then here, let's do shell, and then echo, hello, into the output. Save that. We do snake make use one core to make output text, and then I run that. It creates an output with the content hello inside. Okay. I'm going to delete the output. What we can do now is use curly braces and and use a prefix. Let's do that and then rerun output. So now here it it does the same thing essentially, but but now because I'm using a wildcard, it the, the rule detects that the the text output is detected as and saved as the uh, prefix wildcard. So what I could do is now because I've generalized it, I can have different uh, give different uh, wildcards, and then it will detect that I still want to run the same rule. So it, I just ran hello dot text, and it has the same content in the shell directive. You can use the wildcard as well with the curly braces again with wildcards with an S and then you do prefix. So I'm going to delete the two files that I created hello.txt and output.txt. And here I'll do hello.txt. I run that, it creates the file and it contains hello. So it's echo, echoing the, the content of the wildcard pref prefix wildcard and then saving that into the output file. So I could do something like abc.txt and then the content of abc will be abc. So that was a quick demonstration on what wildcards do. Let's expand on this. I'm going to uh, show you an example of using multiple rules, uh, multiple pref multiple wildcards in a rule. So let's make another example. Again, I'm just, I'm just going to copy and paste the same thing, but change this extension, but it's using the same rule. So here I'm doing abc.tsv, and then it will run rule two, right? To create this, it essentially does the same thing, but it's a different uh, rule because it's using a different uh, extension as well. So now I'm making my third rule is combined. Let's do combine. Okay, now this one takes in two inputs. It's going to do dot text and then another one is going to be dot tsv. So so basically, I'm connecting rule one here and then rule two to here. And then my output is going to have the wildcards one and two, and then ends with combine. What this is going to do is I'm going to just concatenate the two input files and then saving that into my output. Uh, simple enough. Let's try and run that. So it's going to be, let's do ABC uh, hyphen uh, FG, DFG dot combined. 
So I ran the rule. So here you can see in this log file, I'm running the combined rule where I'm specifying the output as abc dfgcombined And because the wildcards is, um, it, the text abc is saved into the one wildcard and then the dfg is being saved into the two wildcards. And then each of these wildcards are being sent to the to see whether I my input files are available, so abc.txt and dfg.tsv. And Snakemake has detected that these rules, uh, these files, these input files can be created from the rules one and two. So it runs this rule to create the input files, and then the created input files are combined in this rule. So here I have abc and dfg.tsv and then in my combined I have both of the content. So that is the basic idea. So this is the type of way you could use multiple wildcards. Uh, but but before, um, so this is one way of using multiple wildcards. You can have three, four, five, uh, however, however many wildcards you want, but there is two things that you need to um, be aware of when using multiple wildcards is you may have a program that you know outputs two different uh, output files or you could have you could use the log directive to also save save your you know output your log information into a log file right so let's let's do this example so this is going to run um, I'm going to rerun the rule so you know what I'll delete this I'll delete this file and I'm gonna, I'm going to rerun this uh, rule again but this time there's going to be a log file output as well so this runs fine but what about what if I remove one of the wildcards in the log directive. This is going to cause an error because you see there's a syntax error because it's because I'm um, the output directive, the log directive, and then it's not shown here, but the benchmark directive all needs to, all of the files in those directives needs to have the same uh, wildcards. So the output file has the wildcards one and two, but the log log directive only has the wildcard one, so that's why it's complaining. It does. You don't have to have the exact same format like this. You don't have. You know. You could have something in between. But as you just need to have both of the wildcards. You have to have the same number of wildcards. It doesn't have to be in order. You could have it like this. But you just need to have the same wildcards in all of your output and log directive for it to not complain. So now it completes. So the reason for that is, for instance, say this constraint wasn't available and you made a rule like this and then and then this log file was created like this. So that's fine, except when you're when you're rerunning things and you have the same uh, wildcard for the first wildcard and then you have a different one for this, say if that runs and you didn't have the constraint. So the previous runs uh, log file, log content will be erased, it will be overwritten because of the way I wrote my rule. So you don't want that, you want to keep everything consistent, you want to have all of your outputs and log files in a consistent manner where it doesn't you don't overwrite certain things because of the of what you run you know later so that's the reasoning behind why this constraint exists so that's one thing you need to be aware of the second thing i want to go over is i'm just going to clean some of this so i don't need this anymore i'm going to delete all this so before I delete, I'm just going to show you the entire thing. 
So there's rule one, rule two, and then the combined rule that combines the output together. Now I'm going to delete all of that. And then I'm going to start over. Uh, this is going to be the same thing. So one output and then shell. I'm going to echo the world card prefix and then save that to an output. And then I'm going to have a second rule named unrelated rule. And this one is also going to have no input. It's, uh, I'm going to have a different, uh, it's got the same number of wildcards, but it has a different ending, right? Except it has the same extension. I'll, I'll explain why this is important and then just hard-coded uh, message that's being saved into the rule. So now I'm going to run the two rules. So, so say I did hello.text. So here I'm specifying that I want to run rule one because the hello is the prefix, uh, is the, will be the content of the prefix wildcard and then it ends with a text. So that's, this is going to run fine. I run and this works. So I have my file. Now I'm going to delete this. Now I'm going to try and run the second rule. So you might expect that this will run fine and I'm going to create my, my hello.diff.txt file and the content is going to have uh, rule two. But in reality, if I run that, I get an error. And the error is because there's an ambiguous rule exception where rule, the, so the rule, unrelated rule and rule one are ambiguous for the file hello.diff.txt. Uh, this is because um, you see, the wildcard, the two rules uh, defined was for the unrelated rule is as we expect its prefix is uh, hello text is saved into the prefix wildcard. But for our rule one is the hello.diff text is saved as the rule for the prefix. So, so the snake make doesn't, isn't sure whether you want to make this output or this output because it ends with the same extension. So it could be, it, it might be possible that you want to make the output from rule one where the the prefix wildcard is hello.diff or you could be wanting to create this output and the and the prefix wildcard is hello. So it's not sure. And that's why there's some ambiguity. So that's why there's this error. The way to fix this problem is you could specify a different extension. So to make these unambiguous, or you could, you know, output these into a different location. So output un unrelated. And then here you can do output one. So now that's that's also it both outputs into dot text, but it's now because it's outputting to a different location. Now this is unambiguous, so this will run where it makes the directory tree and then it outputs your file. Did I delete all of this? Yes. So this is one way, that, uh, this is the second way. And then a third possible way you could do is you could have, you know, the rule name at the front of all of your outputs. But that's quite verbose. You might not want this. Uh, so maybe it's probably better to reorganize your 
the output structure tree directories or the extensions or maybe some of the uh, names in between. So for instance, uh, one more thing I guess is you could have multiple wildcards. I'm not going to demonstrate with actual running and coding, but you might have different uh, wildcards. In this situation, again, you might come across uh, you you might come across situations where you have uh, different rules, but different uh, same number of wildcards, and maybe you forgot to change. Uh, you have the same uh, extension. So that's why there's uh, ambiguity, and the same for for instance, same sort of format. So to make those unambiguous, you could maybe change the different separators. You know, instead of hyphen, you could do like equals or comma, underbar, underscores, and and just play around with like text in between. So like uh, type type a type one, you know play around with your with your format and that might fix your problem as well and yeah so that's the two things you need to you know be aware of when you're using multiple uh, wildcards and and just uh, wildcards that might have some ambiguity between rules so um, that is it for today if you if that was helpful, please leave a like. Um, if you have any sort of subtopics that you're confused about that might be useful for others to know as well, please leave a comment and I'll go over it and maybe make a video. Okay, thank you.